Hi guys. First of all, I got I did a great interview um, with Levi, and um, it's really good. Um, it's uh, four times fifteen minutes, and uh, uh, it's got in four parts. Uh, and I will link it below, uh, and also at the end of this video, uh, you have to check it out. It's really cool. Uh, I've have not done an interview in um, since 2014 so that's uh, three four years ago and um, it's really worthwhile to watch um, and secondly I got uh, a very uh, important email that I want to share with you um, here it comes it's from my dear friend Altcoin Speculant he has also a website in German uh, but uh, well he has done incredibly well uh, uh, helped a lot of people with his website over the past few years um, and uh, was an early uh, investor in uh, many projects uh, so I really admire people like that because uh, yeah, they have an open mind uh, to things and uh, and also take the opportunity to uh, uh, to invest uh, in in uh, in these things and also share it with other people and help other people so he has my admiration he sent me an email he says uh, hi mark greetings from your old friend altcoin speculant i hope you are doing well i just need to intervene to save you from some wrong assumptions you have taken within your latest youtube videos I like your videos a lot, you are a good guy and a good speaker. And under normal conditions I would fully agree, the markets have been ready for a correction in summer and under normal conditions probably a hard bear market causing the market cup down to uh, indeed 30 billion. But something has changed, it's a paradigm shift. Something completely new, this year have announced 50 new hedge funds to go in cryptos. Most of them are just in the funding phase, so they are collecting money but are not operational in the crypto markets. These are billions in addition. Fresh money. In addition, we will see big players will go in the market. In Switzerland, private bank Falcon Bank allows now normal bank lines to buy the top four cryptocurrencies. And the biggest online banks in Switzerland, like Swissquote, Credit Suisse and UBS, some of the biggest banks in the, in, uh, from Europe even, will follow up in some months' time. So there will be more and more solutions ready that the average show and the average private banking client will be able to invest in cryptos. And this are amounts higher than ever before. This flood of new money will lift all boats. We will see Bitcoin at 6,000 to 8,000 US dollars this, this year and Ethereum above 500 US dollars. It's a kind of asset price inflation like in other markets. Nothing to do with fundamentals, but it is as it is. Close your shorts, Mark, and monitor this new development closely. This will change the whole game completely. Enjoy and have a good time. Altcoin Speculant. So, uh, a great mail and really thank you so much, Altcoin Speculant, for uh, sending me this. I really value that highly. Friends, well, can help, have helped me a lot and, and these kind of emails can really help me to change my mind on topics and that can make a huge difference in uh, my return so thank you so much um, so yeah um, I, and I know and I have to admit that I, I had a very similar I have a deja vu feeling uh, because when I look at my own videos um, saying look uh, there, it's a low probability we go into a new bubble um, um, but it's possible and I said the same uh, after the first bubble in 2013 when it went to from from basically 10 to 255 and correct to 50 I was around 100 I said the same thing like it's very unlikely we get a new bubble uh, uh, it's possible but very unlikely and so that's why I scaled down my crypto to only 20 percent um, and yet uh, it did happen uh, two months later we went into a new bubble that went to thousand two hundred dollars uh, so around hundred I, I scaled down to twenty percent and it goes to thousand two hundred uh, in a couple of months so of course that's uh, yeah was I could have made a lot more money there uh, and, and and the same can happen today and um, what I missed in, in the past the corrections was a, a serious correction 
Uh, the, f the first bear market in 2013 went from 255 to 50, stabilized around 100. We didn't see any such corrections uh, in Bitcoin this year, but of course Bitcoin went a, a lot more, a lot less up. But if you look at other other uh, well leading cryptos that have gone up a lot, like Ethereum, yes, it did go up to 400 dollars. It corrected to 100. Uh, 50 or so I didn't I didn't keep an eye on it but below 200 uh, so uh, and then um, so this is also a very big correction of course of minus 75 percent or or minus 80 percent it probably did uh, it's similar to what Bitcoin did in, in its early days um, uh, so and now I think it's stabilizing around 200 so if you look at some of the leading cryptos that has gone up a lot uh, yes they did go down uh, serious they did serious correction but overall if you look at the crypto market uh, in total it went from 90 to 60 billion and then um, uh, go, went to 115 billion correct again to 60 billion and now we're at about 150 billion so these corrections are found too small to s and, and too short to see as a, a really big correction that's why i continue to call the end of the bubble and, and believe that uh, yeah we still have that uh, it still needs to happen but of course i mean i could be wrong and and we could indeed go into a new uh well it could go the way he says not for the reasons he mentions i think because of course it's typical at the peak of the bubble that a lot of new new faces appear in the industry uh, but of course this is already priced in these hedge funds buying well they start buying with the, the, the hedge fund managers uh, uh, that uh, start have already bought into this bubble uh, not with private uh, clients money but with their own money uh, and and of course uh, it's at the peak of the bubble that, that you have a lot of very positive news of, of, of uh, new money coming in but 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 of course the way it like I will go when there's a bear market that all this new money will not uh, step in and so the moment that prices go down they start to doubt and 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 so instead of sending the money to the hedge fund mm, they send only half or less or they just wait and so um, so and so the money does not flow in anymore the moment prices go down uh, the same especially with those uh, retail clients uh, yeah, now they buy, but the moment the prices start to go down, they st they don't buy anymore and they want to wait. Uh, so uh, this is what happened also in 2013 when Bitcoin was at $1,000. Uh, everybody was talking about ETF, but uh, while the ETF is still not there today, four years later. Eh? Uh, so it, these things take a lot of time. Uh, the difference between talking about it and it really happening uh, can take a lot of time. So... Um, but still, I have to protect myself um, because, uh, indeed, if it happens, if prices continue to go up and, indeed, valuations are still very low, that only one player in the world could cause a double bubble. Huh? Um, uh, there are many billion-dollar uh, people and billion-dollar uh, institutions and billion-dollar funds that could um, decide to allocate a few billion uh, to the crypto market pushing up prices uh, for the whole crypto market uh, so um, yeah you have to be careful and i have to be careful so uh, I, i'm very close to the limit of the amount that i want to sell and so uh, i'm very close to only 20 percent exposure of uh, crypto and after that i will not sell anymore and I will also not balance them anymore so let's say we go into a new bubble well that 20% crypto of me will start to grow again to 30% and maybe 40% and maybe 50% well I will not balance again I will not sell again uh, that's my protection that's the way I do it and I do it in the other direction too like on the way down I will start to buy um, uh, the lower it goes the higher I uh, put my exposure and, and uh, the last time that was in 20 uh, 15 uh, uh, I decided my last step was to go to 80% crypto and only 20% uh, other investments that but but I also said like this is the last time I really can't do this again because if crypto fails it will continue to go down and I will continue to sell off my other investments and I will end up broke 
So there is a limit to this balancing strategy and, that, and, that, and you have to set that limit somewhere. And for me, it's the last time when I balance with 20% and I plan to do that quite soon because I think we're now in the last phase of the uh, bull market and, uh, and, and the last phase I think will be altcoins catching up with bitcoins and going to a new all-time high. And so I think uh, this is happening now. Uh, Bitcoin Cash has gone up uh, a lot. Uh, Zcash Cash started to go up. Monero finally went up. Uh, so the, all these um, may find new highs, I think, in this push. And then I will scale down again uh, because uh, last time I balanced two, uh, uh, actually to 77%. I was at about 70 percent crypt, uh, fiat and I went to 77 percent crypt, uh, fiat and so I scaled down from 30 to t- uh, 22 percent uh, uh, crypto or 23 percent crypto that was when Bitcoin was uh, peaking out around four thousand five hundred dollars uh, and I sold uh, the little the few Bitcoin I had uh, to do that but um, but uh, but yeah I plan to do it again uh, with my alt uh, portfolio uh, but it will be the last time. Uh, and after that, I'm going to have to just uh, see what the market does. Um, I also want to do a little shout out to Bitcoin Cash because um, I think this is an amazing investment and the valuations are still uh, acceptable. Uh, around uh, 0.16 uh, BTC per uh, BCC. Uh, it's still um, well close to 10 times cheaper than Bitcoin. It's now seven times cheaper. But yeah, I, re- I really think uh, this is uh, um, this is um, this is uh, has a very good uh, chance to go up first with Bitcoin in the continuing bear market. In the bear market, it's going to be very, very, very hard to 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 do profitable investments in the cryptocurrency industry. Um, um, and um, but I think Bitcoin Cash is, is an exception, uh, and I also think that um, that that ICOs uh, can also still be profitable. But uh, there, I mean, you have to do a lot of research, a lot of work, uh, and select the right ones. This is a very difficult job, but uh, there is are still opportunities there. I think, um, and I also wanna say something about uh, like investing in the top 10 coins right now I really think with the exception of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash but but like Ethereum and IOTA and NAM and all these projects have only started in 2015 and so so that was the start of the bull market and so all these coins have gone up in one straight line basically um, from valuations that were like the highest for uh, Ethereum was 30 million, it started at 30 million at first ICO. But for example, IOTO started at 500,000 only. Eh? That was the ICO, uh, the money that was raised, and NAM started at um, zero. Huh? Uh, it was a free distribution. And all these projects are now worth billions. And, um, and so they have returns of more than 1,000%, some even 5,000%. And this is really like uh, extremely, extremely risky to invest in these projects at current valuations. But even at, if you have invested at half the current valuation, and so you're sitting on a, on a doubling today, like this is still an extremely risky position because it is very, very likely this will correct 90% from its high. Huh? Um, and uh, uh, even if these projects have a great, even if they succeed in conquering the market and having a great future, then still they will do that. Huh? So I would strongly recommend to sell your composition like for 90% also. Uh, of course, you need to have, I mean, it's justified to have a small exposure, you never know what's going to happen. But I think it makes a lot of sense to scale down these positions strongly uh, and, 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 and buy and have cash on the side to buy back later at, uh, if, you, if, if you still believe in those projects. Uh, but, you know, the, the, if the price goes up a lot, it's also the news. The news has, has been extremely positive and so 
a bear market will show, show you some negative news also about these projects. And that's also important to, 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 uh, to, to process before you're going to make new investments. Uh, because a lot's going to happen. Uh, a lot, uh, the market, uh, during bear markets, the, the, you, you see a lot of truth coming uh, uh, like up. You see uh, the weaknesses of the project are really like uh, put under the microscope. And, 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 uh, and also some other projects may perform surprisingly well during a bear market, which also gives you a very big signal of what's going to happen in the bull market usually. Uh, and so... Uh, but I think most importantly, like, I think we have to judge, like it's time to judge. And it's just true that Ethereum by far did the best. Eh? And this, if there is a bear market coming, this is a great investment, the same, of course, for IOTA and NAM, all these projects that I missed out on <clears throat> and that have done the best in returns. Well, that's not without reason. I don't know the reasons. So a little, uh, I haven't studied the projects because I never found it a good opportunity price-wise. But of course I was wrong to not invest in these projects. They have proven for some reason to go up a lot in value. Some people value these projects very highly eh? and there must be great reasons for that. So, but these reasons, I think time to research why that happened is in the bear market. Eh? And now it's just time to sell these projects or just remember that these projects did extremely well in this bull market and, and so when a bear market happens and when the slaughter is there, then these projects should get a lot of your uh, attention um, and, and might be extremely good investment opportunities. Thanks so much for watching, watching guys, and uh, have a great day. Bye.